So this one's a 12 by 28 and it's got the insulation and the, and the, and the tongue and groove on the flooring, just like a house does. It's pretty spacious in here. Uh, it also has the metal bars on the windows for security, which is, uh, which is a nice touch. The ceilings are tall, not, uh, you could put a little loft, a little section up here, but uh, hey, it is insulated already, which is great. So that's a plus. Good floor plan. I think the uh, only thing necessary would be to, I don't know, we decide put a door or something, depending on how we're gonna lay this out on the property. But this one is 11-2. All right. I'm gonna go see the other one that's finished now. So here's the trail from the landing, looking down at the trail. Just to give you another perspective, there's the burn pile. And that's the area there that I've been clearing. So, not bad. So I got a lot of, a lot of these trees down, but it's progress, man. A little the time. All right, so I started working on this side over there, but I cleared out a lot back there. Like, way back there. So, a lot, uh, a lot more space. That area there is pretty, it's pretty flat and level. So, I'm thinking once we can kind of smooth this out a little bit, that spot back here would be a good spot for the, uh, for the handy house. And so, we'll see. A lot of work, man. I'm tired. This morning it was 16 degrees. Too damn cold. Now it's, I think it's a whopping 30 degrees. I checked a little while ago, it was 28. So anyway, got about another 45 minutes here and then I'm going to call it. All right, so check it out, good. Got the fire going. But what I've cleared out, so I guess you can appreciate it. I've cleared out this side a lot, considering that's all a chainsaw. I'll take from a from the profile perspective and get a better idea.